Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel In The Dirt Outdoor and Gardening Tips. My name is Donnie and today I'm going to show you how I remove this root ball with a reciprocating saw aka a sawzall and a shovel. So I'm going to be using a DeWalt cordless reciprocating saw with a 12 inch wood cutting blade. I've also got two fully charged batteries which should be enough for me to handle this job. And this is a bush that I previously cut down. If you want to see how I cut down this bush, be sure to watch this video. A link is in the video description. So the first thing you want to do is to cut down this bush, but leave a couple of handles so you can pull out the root ball when it comes time. The second thing you want to do is to be sure you remove any weed barrier. As you can see here, I pulled back this weed barrier and this weed barrier. Even though the reciprocating saw is very powerful and the saw blade is very sharp, it is not meant for cutting through weed barrier. And finally, be sure to water the soil around here to make sure that it's nice and soft before you start digging. So you may have seen some videos where people start with the reciprocating saw. Now my plan is to actually start with the shovel and shovel as much as I can. And then when I run into some tough spots, use the reciprocating saw. Now in an ideal situation, this should only take me about 15 minutes and I should only have to use the reciprocating saw and the shovel. But it may take longer if we run into some tough spots. Now if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that like button. So without further ado, let's get started. Now I prefer to start off with the shovel because if I run into any problems with the reciprocating saw, I could burn out the batteries and then have to fully recharge them again before I can get started. Now this is not the ideal situation for using the shovel. As you can see, I only have about one foot of space in front of and behind the center of the root ball. So that's a bit of a challenge for digging, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. My wife and I are getting rid of these bushes to replace them with some other landscaping. We're not quite sure what we wanna do with this space yet, but I'm sure that my wife will come up with some great ideas to make it look beautiful. These bushes came with our house when we bought it a few years ago. I already took out three of them and that last one on the left will also be going away soon. Now, as you can see, it would be really tough to try to take the root ball out with using just a shovel. I assume that most of you already have a shovel. I'm not using a fancy shovel or anything. This is just a hand-me-down from my father-in-law. If you don't already have a shovel, you can probably check out Craigslist or Facebook to try and find a cheap used one that fits your needs. Now, if you don't have a reciprocating saw, you can also use a hand pruning saw or in a pinch, you can use a pair of loppers. A hand pruning saw is obviously going to take a lot more effort. Loppers work great. I've actually used my loppers to cut through the roots, but it's not really the right tool for the job. And you don't really want to ruin a perfectly good pair of loppers by using them to cut through roots. As you can see, even after all this shoveling, the root ball is not even budging. All right, so now I'm gonna switch over to the reciprocating saw. So I just use the reciprocating saw, saw as much as I can. If I run into any tough spots, I try to skip over it. If I try to plow through those tough spots, I could burn out the battery quickly. Then I'd have to fully recharge it again. There you saw that I just ran into a tough spot. 
I just lifted the sawzall over it and continued on to the easy parts. This sawzall is great. I've been meaning to buy one for a very long time. Back in the day, I used to volunteer for Habitat for Humanity. And a lot of the old timers highly recommended getting a sawzall. So I finally decided to pull the trigger on it this year. So far, I've only been using it for removing bushes, but I definitely look forward to using it for other projects around the house. Now I'm gonna switch back to using the shovel. So I don't have any special kind of technique or anything. I'm kind of just hacking away at this bad boy. If you have any nearby drip irrigation, be careful not to damage it. I guess if I damage my drip system, I can make a video about that and show you how to fix it. It's a pretty easy fix. It's just something I'd rather not be doing if I don't need to. So I'm trying to make sure I stay away from that drip line. All right, I've shoveled all that I can. So now it's time to switch back to the reciprocating saw. This sawzall cuts through these roots like a knife through butter. It is such a handy tool for this job. Here's a tip if you do purchase a cordless reciprocating saw, make sure it comes with two batteries and a charger. I got lucky. There was a deal going on at Ace Hardware that included the two batteries and the charger. So that was really cool. All right, time to switch back to the shovel. This is what the roots look like that we're cutting through. It kind of looks like hair. 
And just like the roots that keep our hair attached to our heads, these roots keep the bush attached to the ground. It looks like the root ball is finally starting to move. So we're getting close to being done. We're just gonna use the shovel as a lever to finally detach the root ball. All right, guys, moment of truth. We did it. Uh -huh. we did it. So here's what the hole looks like afterwards. Here's what this root ball looks like. As you can see, it's just a bunch of very tough roots that look kind of like hair that make it really tough to get out of the ground. And in the front there, you can also see those nice clean slices that were made by the reciprocating saw to the sides of the root ball. This thing is a beast. All right, so thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to drop them in the comment section and I will see you next time.